dear brothers and sisters, the new year is approaching and we will be wishing each other a lot of blessings and uh, we will be asking the Lord to bless the new year that is coming. But what does it mean to bless? And uh, uh, how come we can bless God? He can bless us, we bless Him. Uh, in the seminary we had a discussion uh, when the priest is blessing someone, okay, he's in, uh, bless you. Uh, is this just uh, some form of greeting, like hello, okay, it's just some information, I meet you, okay, or it has some uh, mystical power that's behind this, okay. Uh, well, this is quite a stupid uh, question, because we we know that there is some a special power behind it, okay, even though some people don't believe it, okay. Uh, but uh, to see what is this power and uh, how come uh, not only priests but anyone, okay, the uh, uh, lay people, okay, anyone, we bless food, okay, we bless our children, okay, we, we can do all kinds of blessings. Uh, how we can uh, we can do this, okay, and uh, why Christ is called the Blessed One, okay, the Blessed, uh, blessed is He who comes in the name of the Lord. And blessed is the uh, kingdom of David that is coming. And also uh, the Lord is telling us in uh, Matthew 5.44, He is telling us, um, I tell you, uh, love your enemies, bless those who curse you, uh, do good to those who hate you, and pray for those who um, persecute you or uh, uh, treat you bad, badly, okay, it's, it's my translation. So, uh, uh, do, uh, do these things to those who hate you, to those who uh, curse you, You're, you need to bless them. What does it mean to bless them? Just say, oh, blessed are you. Just some words, what, what does it mean? Uh, well, to understand this better and to have a better appreciation, what you do when you are wishing someone something good, okay, any kind of wish, I wish you graduation in university, I wish you uh, Merry Christmas, I wish you something else. Okay. When we wish something, what does it mean? Uh, theologically, okay, what really happens when we do that? Okay. When we have that uh, feeling, appreciation of what it is, we will, have, uh, we will think twice what to say and what to wish to others. Okay. And we will have uh, great joy when we do it. Okay. Okay, so um, blessing is also um, uh, can be expressed through thanking God. Okay, we're thankful to God. Uh, Eucharist, okay, the the service, the divine liturgy that we're uh, doing is uh, this concentration. This is the ultimate blessing of God, and God blessing us <clears throat> through giving us He Himself. Okay and we're united with him in this uh, Eucharist. Okay, <clears throat> this uh, uh, we can see from the Greek uh, word evlogeo, and we will look both the Greek and Hebrew, because they give us different clues about what is behind this, uh, this word. Uh, this word evlogeo in, in Greek means uh, say good things, ev, thing, good, uh, logeo, logos, uh, word, speech, okay, say. So <clears throat> it is uh, in the service, in the worship that we do. It's uh, basically through all these praises, uh, blessings, uh, uh, extolations to, towards God. We are saying something good about Him. Okay, we are expressing our attitude towards Him, and in return, He is blessing us. He is approving us, He is giving us His, uh, uh, his uh, joy, His power, His uh, light, His life, okay, uh, as a response to our attitude towards Him. But in uh, real life, uh, daily life, uh, we are unhappy with people, with the weather, with this, with that. 
this means that we don't really have that uh, thankfulness, thankful heart toward God. And this is why we have all these uh, uh, problems, uh, okay, all, um, all, all, all this um, unhappiness that we have, okay? Problems we have uh, anyways. Uh, but a um, very good example of what does it mean to have real uh, heart that is thanking God is this parable of Lazarus and the rich man. Lazarus was all in uh, 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 some wounds, okay? he was all in blood, these dogs coming, licking him, he doesn't have any food, he is a beggar, he is just lying there, hungry all the time, all his very miserable life. But uh, he is, he, he, the Lord calls him, um, his name uh, Lazarus, which is in uh, Hebrew Eleazar. Eleazar is El Azar. Okay? El Azar means God have helped. Is this uh, strange? What kind of help? He is lying there, he is uh, um, okay, all in those sore wounds. Uh, maybe leprosy, maybe something, we don't know what kind of, some, some sickness of his skin, it's, it's always uh, blood leaking out. Okay, <clears throat> and uh, what help? Where does God help him? Okay, uh, we, um, uh, but another one, the rich man, he's celebrating every day and, and he doesn't uh, need to thank God for anything. So Lazarus, we can see from this name, this gives us the clue that he, his heart is thankful to God for letting him go through all these sufferings, for helping him endure and overcome all this pain that, is, uh, that he has to experience. He has this heart. He is thankful to the Lord despite all those things. And when he dies, the angels immediately take him to the bosom of Abraham. His soul is like that. This is the, 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 the model for us okay, to treat God, no matter how bad things are today. We are thankful to Him so much that the Lord is helping us go through it. Okay? Uh, and uh, we are with this joy. We, we have this patience and we go through all of this. This is the heart that is blessing God all the time, continuously. Okay? This, this is what it is. Okay, because it's spiritual blessing, spiritual, uh, spiritual health that the soul gains through blessing. Okay, because only with this union, this interchange of uh, blessing with God, that we can be saved and we can be with God. Okay, and um, uh, and that. Uh, explained about divine liturgy, how does this happen? This uh, ultimate union, we gain it in the divine liturgy. And uh, the braham, the Hebrew words, okay, Hebrew uh, a noun is braha, the blessing. Uh, the blessed, okay, blessed is him who comes in the name of the Lord. Baruch haba, the shame of the night. Baruch, okay. Uh, is, Jewish last name, Baruch. Baruch is a blessed one. And um, uh, Birach is the uh, verb to bless. Okay? Uh, and uh, what does it mean, okay, this word in Hebrew? The basic translation that you will find in most dictionary dictionaries will tell you that it's either to uh, bestow power, power for success, prosperity, fertility to someone, or it is to declare that somebody has this power, okay? Okay, we bless somebody who, we, we, yeah, he already has it and we, we are acknowledging this. And um, it is also to wish someone these good things, okay? Any good things, okay? This means to bless. And uh, when uh, we bless God, that means that we acknowledge that he is the source of all these good things, okay? This power of success prosperity, fertility, any goodies, okay? He is the source of it. So this is uh, the basic meaning of bless in Hebrew. However, there is a deeper meaning, okay? There is a deeper meaning. Um, this deeper meaning is related to planting, 
And this brings us to this vaccine, vaccination topic, because uh, um, to bless is like planting someone unto the kingdom of heaven. To receive this uh, juice, this life from the kingdom of heaven, to be planted on like a tree. Okay, the uh, branch is cut out, it's put in the ground, it's planted in the ground and it grows, it becomes another tree. Or there is a branch from some, like Apostle Paul is also using this uh, understanding. He says that you were from the wild uh, sycamore tree, you were taken from that tree and planted uh, gave <clears throat> to the good tree and uh, now you are receiving this good tree. But those other branches uh, that used to be on it, they were cut out. Okay, so <clears throat> this notion, and this means that any kind of blessing, it, it has to do with this relationship, with this establishing, this uh, window uh, through which we are tied to the kingdom of heaven. And we will pray that uh, uh, may your kingdom come, your will be done. Your kingdom come means we want the kingdom of God come here, be planted. Everybody, me, you, everyone, our families, be planted, be grounded to this kingdom of heaven as much as possible. And this will give us this uh, eternal life and salvation and freedom. So when we uh, say some wish, what does, uh, what does it mean? In Hebrew, uh, it's not, uh, we, we don't say, may God bless you. It just says, God blesses you. It's not God, it's you, right? But uh, we have some deep relationship with God. And uh, because we are created in His image, we are able to uh, accomplish something that God is accomplishing. It's actually God is blessing, but it's us saying. We say God bless you, and and this moment the God really blesses. So it's not just words, it's not just expressing my attitude. I wish you good health, I wish you uh, something else. No, it is actually some power that we transfer and we uh, share with others that will be grounding them to the kingdom of heaven and to that source of blessing that is coming from God himself. But the question comes, is, uh, uh, is everybody's blessing is the same? Uh, if myself, I am far away from, from God, and we are all, all are quite far away, but uh, when we sin, we turn away from Him. We turn even further, we, 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 we reject Him. And when we reject Him, how can we make someone united with Him? So if we ourselves are facing other direction, not facing God, not uh, craving, not uh, wishing to be with Him, well, how can you wish someone be with Him? Okay, it's impossible. So where, when we are in sin, when we have all kinds of garbage in our heart, when we are proud, when we um, uh, okay, are attached to this world, this fallen uh, earthly world, we are not really able to, whenever, even, even if we say something, it will not have much uh, uh, power. So <clears throat> it is important for us to come closer and closer to God, to ourselves crave for this blessing, and to share this blessing as much as possible with everyone including our enemies and people whom we don't uh, have good relationship with. Okay, that will make us similar to God in our heart, in our mind, in our attitude. And this will really bless and influence other people. And this will be spreading throughout this world as this, now they're trying to use this vaccine to spread, to have this immunity. We want to spread the gospel. To, to let the world have this immunity against evil, as many people as possible, to be close to God, okay, to be blessed by Him. So this is uh, what we do, this is what we do, and this is what we wish in this New Year's time also. And we wish for the New Year to be attached to God as much as possible, 
to carry this blessing. Otherwise, uh, it would be really tough. Okay? It would be really tough. So <clears throat> let us uh, wish each other uh, all kinds of blessings. And uh, myself, I uh, want to express. And I don't. It's not I want. I am um, saying that the Lord blesses every one of you, gives you great uh, joy in this upcoming year great success in every good deed that you have, any good intention that your heart may have. May it fill your uh, hearts with light, unite your families, give strength and blessing to everyone in your family, uh, give um, you wisdom and guidance, uh, strengthen your faith, your commitment to Him, your love towards Him. May this uh, new year bring great light, light, success to your hearts, to your lives, that you may become closer to Him, uh, bring rich fruits of faith and enjoy His Sonship, His uh, divine mercy, unobstructed, unaltered, uh, away from all kinds of error, selfishness, mistake and destruction. May the Lord keep you away, keep you free from all evil that is uh, in this world, uh, chase it away and um, destroy enemy under your feet. I mean, God bless.